Well, another morning, and we're going bear hunt this morning. Um, it's cool. Um, it's gonna be a little different. I've got probably a couple a couple dogs I didn't bring this morning. Um, a couple of my older ones, letting them rest up. And then a couple of them has had some vet visits lately. And uh, basically they get some time off. So be hunting mostly younger dogs. Uh, so I'm not really sure what all we'll get into today. Anyway, I'm going to get them collared up and go try to find a bear. Come on. Well, yeah, I'm gonna get these dogs up on the rig and I'm gonna ride for a little bit this morning. Um, see what I can, see what I can find. Here, Dad. For a while this morning <coughs> and I uh, haven't hit anything until just a second ago I had dog bark twice on the truck so uh, I'm gonna let her off and just see if she can find anything hey bud come on bud buddy oh, buddy I ain't sure where the bear went you know mm. well I am back in the truck long story short they uh, they couldn't figure out that track uh, I'm sure it was a bear track there they barked on it in one spot they could they could smell it good but they could not get it out of there so um, I'm gonna just put them back on the truck. Yeah, maybe this is it. I just hit it again. Well, to be honest, I'm not really sure what to make. Look at this. 
Honestly, I don't know if they're going the right way, the wrong way. They're going right directly back into where I was just now trailing at. So, so if these dogs drop off there and get hung up, then I'll know that they're backwards. So, but anyway, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Honestly, I just, I really ain't sure. I'm back in the truck. Um, I was taking for granted that they was backwards because they went back where they was trailing earlier, but a few of the dogs, they messed around there, messed around there, finally made their way on through where they hung up earlier. And I can't hear them. They didn't cross the ridge, but looks like they're moving a lot better on the Garmin. So I'm going to uh, head on around this road and try to get basically head on around this road and try to get a little closer to them see if I can hear them and uh, I don't know we'll see we'll see I, I really ain't sure what they got going so we'll see what happens they got hung up pretty bad on the edge of this autumn olive patch but they're slowly working their way around it they haven't made it out of it yet but they're they're still doing a decent job trailing so I reckon too, I didn't explain, but this is, these are getting right, but autumn olives. It's a bush with small red type berries once they get right, and the bear love them. So I'm going to kind of ease back towards the truck, that way I can be mobile, and um, just kind of see what happens. Out of here, I've got them picked up. Basically, my goal is I, I need to get within here to these dogs so I can tell exactly uh, or try to figure out what they're doing. They're balled up tight, but they didn't really make a whole lot of a you know, they didn't make a big chase, they kind of trailed, 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 and then took like a five, six hundred yard jump. And then they're showing caught, so I really ain't like I say, I don't know, I, I couldn't hear the race, so I don't know if they're just trailing and hung up or if they've done caught it so i got to get within hearing of these things and uh that'll that'll hopefully tell me what i need and basically i'm gonna hit there's an old road that kind of goes in there towards them so um i'm out on foot and we'll walk in here and probably try to get them or see what's going on all right i'm not sure if i updated the camera but uh got a little crazy there for a few minutes i got in a little bit closer to the dogs and um realized they was bait up and um I, I wasn't close enough for it to smell me or anything but it, it just it broke and when it when it broke and ran it run exactly back on the track that had come in there so um it messed them up just just for a few minutes so a little bit behind it now i believe but uh, they're, they're rolling on. So I come back to the truck, hit it around, and I'm gonna try to get in front of them and the, kind of get get myself prepared in the direction that they're heading. So. I'm watching the Garmin. It looks like something happened there. My front dog either overrun it or just treat it. I'll know more here in just a second. No, they're going on, so I must overrun it. When I say overran it, uh, what it is, the, the bear made a made a hard cut or a curve. He made a turn, basically. And um, they're running the scent trail, and, and she missed she missed the turn, but had to go back and make a circle or two and pick up the scent, and then head on. So. But she got it straightened out, and she's hitting on them, so I'm going to get them around. Looks like they just, they made a, a lap and then I think they just caught him. I'm going to get back in here and probably, I'm, I think I'm going to have to walk in there. Well, them dogs are steady showing tree now. So I'm assuming it's showing them right on the edge of a creek. So I don't know if they're just bait up in the creek or if it's actually treed. But whatever the case, I'm going to hit him see what they got. I got a pretty long walk in front of me. I got to cross a big old ridge, so it's going to take me a while, but that's all right. They, they should stay there. Oh, now I got to climb up this ridge. 
across it, go into the hollow of the bottom of the next one. So this one's gonna be a this one's gonna be a pretty good climb. Well, it really ain't that whoa. It really ain't that hot today, boy. I'm putting up sweat climbing this thing. Well, get ready to top out on this ridge. You can probably see I'm putting out the sweat, but I believe it's up a tree. <laughs> or not treeing real good. Well, I really ain't exactly sure what happened, but I think what they're treated on is this. It's a big old knot up on the side of that tree. So I really don't know. I mean, I feel pretty certain they was running the bear when they come this way, but why they stopped on this tree, I don't know. Well, could there be a bear up in one of these trees? With this canopy and stuff, I may not see it. It's possible, I reckon, but do I really think so? No, I think I think they was coming by here and then the track was coming right down through here and one of them probably looked up and seen that and stopped and barked at it a time or two and then that started a whole chain reaction all of them stopped and treed and it happens from time to time it shouldn't but it does you just get on them a bit and go to the truck and do it again tomorrow So, anyway, well, I'm gonna start climbing back up this ridge and heading back towards the truck. It happens, dogs messed up. Um, I usually don't get too terrible excited over it. I mean, you gotta correct as necessary. And, uh, kind of just basically try to figure out why they did it. And uh, a lot of times you don't, you just don't know. He ain't gonna, no. they're, they're hounds. It happens, but. Got a long ways to go to get back. My truck is all the way, that green spot, you go across that, you're across them next bunch of trees, and across that, about where the tip of my finger is. Maybe I across the river. So, good ways. Probably about a mile and a half from here. And it's pretty, pretty thick, gnarly stuff that I gotta go through to get there. This stuff is tall and nasty to walk in. <laughs> and that feel. <laughs> get back towards the truck and get these dogs put away. Write it off as a 
basically one of them days where <clears throat> most people that don't agree with hound hunting, these are the days they don't see. Uh, yeah, you know, early, walking my tail off. Just basically a no bear. So, but it's just the part of hound hunting. 